From your grouped process, when you generate your package, you'll notice in the package there are parameters here for weight, manual time, auto and walk. These are pretty much uh, classic breakdowns of the individual activities. And those appear on the cover sheet as well here, weight, manual, auto and walk. Now again, you don't have to use these parameters. You can leave them out, uh, but if you do use them, you have to be able to define them in your process here. And the way you do that is quite simple. You come back over here from your grouping area, you go to show all details. And that activates the view modes over here. And then we're going to come over here to our user defined area and we select the work breakout here. And you'll notice what it's doing, it's changing all the colors down here to gray here. So here's here now, I like to color code them. The default will not give you color coded so, and you can edit the groups and you can just touch the colors. And let's say my weighting is going to be red. My manual is going to be green because it's productive. The auto might be uh, maybe blue because it's also productive. And then maybe the walk it could be like the uh, maybe the pinky color here, right? So now you have your different color codes to represent the different modes here. And you can see it will inherit here. There actually was some already defined here. So what you do is you then click on the, let's say the auto here. You highlight the one you want, the auto. This is going to be blue. And then you click on the this one here. You click it once, it'll change the color here. And let's say now you get some walking involved. And maybe the walking's involved in the load part, so you could touch that right here. And that would change the color there to the uh, to the walking color. So all you have to do is select, highlight the one you want to work on, and then you can actually click on as many as you want that are affected by that. So let's say there was some uh, another auto one here. And you can install lock, maybe that's automated. You can click that here. And maybe um, down here you can say secure four screws. Maybe that's automated, you can click it here. You can change them back obviously just by clicking the manual and click on it again, it will deactivate the colors. And when you do this and you save it, when you generate your process, that is how the, um, the package is going to be identified with the weight, manual, auto and walk characteristics that you see here and on the individual sheets. And then again, just to emphasize, you don't have to use these, so it's only if you want, but the, the package will actually manage this for you in this way. So again, the idea is come over here, go to the work breakout, and then when you've got your work breakout, uh, associate colors with it, and then you can apply those colors to your process right here.